Hey everyone, so we're back with some more Z Continuum and uh, I'm just going to get straight into this because I had messed up the video before or the video messed up so I completed the mission or the day's content and the, the, the video was totally screwed up so I'll have to redo it um, but I'm going to have to go through the stuff without actually having to do it so it's going to be kind of hard but anyway, um, went to the Aeropal uh, I'd done the next day and whatnot and here's the mission stuff so visit the apartment, read the hollow mail, go to the snow crash bar to collect a message. I'll do that anyway, I'll show you where it is. Return to your apartment and then there's a mission to do. So I'll read the cipher messages first and then I'll go and do the mission or I'll go and show you where the mission is and um, I'll show you where to collect the message from or whatever. Anyway, hollow mail, so primer day nine. Yikes, yesterday you delivered a message to Eve Flaming Death herself. Here's what it said. We understand you may want to find out more about the group calling themselves Divine Zero and possess certain skills that can go on that can go some way to achieving this. We have skills that may be complementary and propose a temporary alliance to further both our ends. Axiom, we're proposing what? If that's not bad enough, Eat Flaming Death has replied. You help us first. We'll see. Get us a mail address so we can contact them, or is that too difficult for you? Your pal, Eat Flaming Death. You touched something she touched. Please clean cleanse yourself physically and mentally before continuing. Are you cleansed? Axiom has attempted to justify this radical course of, of action. Has it been successful in its argument? Decide for yourself in working with the enemy. So then you go to working with the enemy, and this is what it says. This has been a tough decision to make. We didn't want to tell you what the message was until we got a reply. Now death has replied positively. Well, now death now death has replied positively. We feel this is the right move. Eat flaming death is a problem for you, or for us. Make no mistake. But at least we know what we're dealing with. Something we can't say about Divine Zero. They are aggressive, clever, and invisible, and it can be argued a much greater threat. Death has skills. Stickman informs us. So let's use her, and let's let her use us. Is it right? No. Is it life? Yes. So we ask you to do this mission with a clean conscience. Sometimes the wrong thing is the right thing. So then you go to the errand and it says, A quick errand for you. A message has been dropped off for us outside the snow crash bar. Go and retrieve it. So, and then I'll get back to the other message. So we're going to head out to the snow crash bar and I'll, just, I'll show you where the letter is. Um, but I can't exactly show me doing the mission. But all it is is you walk outside, you start the mission, you go and get the letter and you come back here and that's pretty much it but I'll show you where it is anyway so we'll just get this loaded up and uh, I'll show you okay so what we do is we're gonna go to the snow crash bar so I'm gonna walk down this way and I'm gonna show you how to get there now that is assuming I can figure it out it says next day available but that's fine because I'm, I'm behind anyway. Um, so, Snow Crash Bar is, I believe, this way. Hoping I'm right. Because um, when, you, when you do this mission, uh, by the way, the mission starts up there. So, as soon as you walk out your apartment, it will sort of initiate the mission. And then you'll need to go up there and actually just go to the mission. And just well, it was it will bring you to the mission, and you just have to practically press X to start the mission anyway. But um, right, Snow Crash Bar is, I believe, this way. So just just follow where I go, um, and then I think it's like round the corner here, and <laughs> I believe so. I'm I'm hoping I'm right to be honest. So you come round here, and then it's down here I believe <laughs> I'm, I hope uh, yeah here we go so here's the, here's the snow crash bar now the letter that you need to pick up is just around here and it'll be down here on the floor you then pick it up and then all you have to do is just walk back to the Con uh, con to your apartment so if we just walk back there now but that's where the letter will be it doesn't explain much so you know don't go looking for a, a, like anything big or what because 
it won't explain much. You know, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just trying to find my way back out. Because <laughs> uh, I can get here, but I can't get back out. Um, where's the apartment? This way. <clears throat> so if, you, if you're ever lost, always look up and look for the tallest building. And that's your apartment. That way you know which way you're going to get back. So, nice little tip there for you. Whoa. Some some fly in there. Right, so just continuing down this way. I didn't think we went as far as this last time. We didn't come down this far. We sort of cut through. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think we cut down to the right hand side here. But either way, that uh, that that's where you go. That's where the letter was for me. Um I'm I'm guessing it's in the same place. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But that's where it was, so that's where you got to go. Anyway, we'll come back up here. We'll jump back into the apartment, and I'll show you what to do next. Um, I, I still have all the answers written down from last time. Um, when I worked it out last time, I've, I've written them down on my iPad and stuff. So I'll show you that, and then you can, you can check it out. Uh, anyway, let's just jump into the apartment. Hopefully it loads up quite quickly. I'm hoping they uh they fix all the loading times soon as well. Because it just does get kind of tedious. Anyway, so you pick the letter up. You then come back. And then you should have... Uh, if you go into the cipher, you should have this message. Which is puzzle mission. So it says here, we need to find out information on the Divine Zero. All we have on them is their website, so your task is to search it and find something. Is there something they've missed? A clue to their identity? Be certain this will be no easy task, but one clue often leads to another. Follow the path. Okay, so all we do is we go onto the browser, go onto Divine Zero's website, and I'll show you what to do next. So wait, just wait for this to load up. She should be pretty quick. Hopefully. <laughs> right, okay, so you enter your SEN ID, which is your PSN ID, but they've renamed it, that's all. Um, you just enter it in. It has to be wet, written down exactly as yours is. So if you have capital letters in it, you have to put the capital letters down, otherwise it won't work. So zoom in. Uh, howdy, partner. If you want the address, prove you're a geek. Answer the following questions and put them together to create a nine digit number. That's your code. So these are the three things you need to get to get the answers. So I'm downloading a file from the net. My download speed averages at 7 megabytes per, or megabits per second. If it takes me 2 minutes and 13 seconds to download the file, how big is it in megabytes? So, all you do is for the first answer, you multiply the seconds by download speed. So, 2 minutes 13 seconds is 133 seconds. And you multiply that by the download speed, which is 7 megabytes. So, 133 multiplied by 7 is 931. So 931 is the first part of the code. Next part. I have just zipped up a doc file. After compression, its size is 48 kilobytes. If the compression weight rate was 85%, how big was the file originally? So because the compression rate is 85% and the current size, it is by 15%, so that, that's the size of it now, is 15% of what it was. So, you then multiply, sorry, you divide the current size, which is 48 kilobyte, kilobytes, by 15, which is 15%, so you divide 48 by 15, and then you multiply it by 100, it's just percentages, so you multiply it by 100. And then, so 48 kilobytes, divided by 15, multiplied by 100, is 320. So that's your second part of the code, 320. So we now have 931320. And the last part of the code is, I delete two-thirds of a 1.890 kilobyte file and then edit it, adding 1,024 more bytes. How big is the file now? So if you don't know in computer terms, 1,024 more bytes is one kilobyte. Now, there's a misconception that, th that it's a thousand, and it's not. Same as misconception that uh, what a thousand megabytes is a gigabyte, and that's wrong. A thousand and twenty-four megabytes is a gigabyte. It's just 
the way a computer works it out is that, but the way humans usually work it out is a thousand for so or the way manufacturers work it out is a thousand. So that's stupid. So like when you buy a hard drive, the computer recognizes it a thousand twenty four byte megabytes, but your the manufacturer recognizes it a thousand, so that's why you always get less than what you do. Because you get the 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 system actually has to take away the the size to actually make the hard drive work and the programs run and then it takes away a bit more because of the way it's added together anyway that's just a little that was pointless <laughs> anyway so all you have to do to work that out is you divide the original file by three and then you add the one which is the 1024 megabytes so the 1890 kilobyte file you divide that by three because this it says t it's take away two th it's, it's deleted two thirds, so you so you just divide that by three and then you add the one kilobyte. So, one thousand eight hundred ninety kilobytes divided by three plus the one is six hundred thirty one. So that's our last part of the code is six three one. So we now have nine three one three two zero six three one, and all you do is we then we then exit out of the browser. And I don't know if the code well, the code won't work because I can't enter it in. But underneath Hollow Mail, it will say Enter Code. That's all you do is you enter the code 9313206331, and that's that. You will then be fine. The mission ends, and that's the end of the, of, the, of the day. That's it. That's pretty much all there was for today. I just had to give you a quick run through because I screwed up the video last time, and. This is the only way I, I, I could get it back on track and actually show you guys what to do. So, that's all the answers. I will write down in the description the code in case you, for some reason, can't understand me or, I don't know, for whatever reason, the code will be in the description. And if you'd like to work it out yourself, on the website, there's, um, it, it gives you hints as well. So, you can look at that uh, if, if you'd like to. Otherwise, you just go through it because I'm assuming you're watching this via help or you're just watching it because you'd like to see me go through the game. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I'll be back in the next video, uh, whenever that will be. I'm slowly trying to catch up. Now I've got my HD PVR sort of practically worked out now and, and all the settings sort of laid down good. And uh, I sort of know what I'm doing now. I'm up to speed on the new HD PVR. So I hope you guys are having fun. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.